Welcome and uh, welcome to Directions, day number two. I'm here now in the exhibition hall in front of our beautiful companion booth with my colleague Eduard, Eduard Dell, our VP of Operations. And Eduard, today was a day full of announcements, not necessarily just on the product side, yeah. but also more on the product and licensing side. And so yeah. what were the highlights that you have captured from today? Yeah, I would say the two new things uh, from a licensing perspective is on one hand that Microsoft extect, uh, extended the base attached scenarios. As you know, the possibility to attach additional Dynamics 365 workloads to a reduced price already in place with Business Central as base for uh, customer service and sales and now also for field service. So that enriches the scenarios where can, you can use that. And I think something where Microsoft got a lot of feedback is having a subsequent offer for the brep to csp customers. Yep. So the ones Finally. who started the journey, now they uh, it's running out of the terms and now they have a possibility to move to bridge to cloud with similar no uh, terms already aware. So they have another three years with improved terms. So three years more time to conclude their journey to the cloud. So I would say these are from a licensing perspective the two main announcements of the day. And then I think there were also announcements relative to incentives. I mean, they pulled out the number where basically as a partner you can you can get up to 45% yeah, in channel incentives as you combine everything in the right way. So it's very rich and I think it's a good news for all partners that they can make real money with yeah. the licensing business, right? So that was impressive. Yeah, it, it, I mean, it was what already has been announced in October, but they summarized, I think, it once again and show the commitment and even it's not the 45%. I mean, don't forget the normal licensing discount you have. Yeah. yeah, 25 to 30% on top. The activity-based fundings, investments they do. So they really see how Microsoft is putting skin in the game to accelerate an SMB. I think good news for the channel. And obviously something that we will inform you or make yeah. sure that we simplify because Definitely. sometimes it is a bit sophisticated or complex if you look at all the different opportunities. Now talking a bit about challenges, I think one of the themes that we have is you know building capacity together. Yeah. So because for most of our partners capacity is a is an issue. And Microsoft has today also announced an update on how they think they can add capacity to our channel partners. Yeah, and to be honest, I, for me, it is even one of the most important uh, announcements here as well because it shows that Microsoft also tries to think out of the box mm. how they can support the channel on that challenge because everyone is talking about opportunities, yeah? I mean, I think that was the most frequent mm. terms at this event or now not even just opportunity, it's mostly about huge opportunity mm. or yeah. this morning awful huge opportunity, yeah. but without capacity, it doesn't make sense. And, so, the re and it's called the Reskill Initiative. Exactly, and now Microsoft brings skin to the game with the Reskill Initiative to hire and train people, new talents for the channel. And I think you, investing and helping on capacity, that makes a sound uh, story, I think, for the channel. And I think, you know, but the, the thought that crossed my mind is, I mean, we have a lot of that dialogue that, hey, if I, I have capacity challenge now, at least we have a solution that we can offer and um, you know companion is a is a key part of yeah. it because we are having the learning journeys as part of that reskill initiative to onboard new consultants new developers mm -hmm. and i think you know i wouldn't say there's no excuse anymore but at least yeah. you know there's a big argument to overcome that capacity yeah. challenge which i think is is good still i think every partner needs to address the channel uh, this challenge but it's also the support of microsoft which yeah. i think is great and then in the training side, and I think that's uh, the back connection to the incentives, also good news, because we had a lot of issues with the solution designation oh, that you need yeah. to earn money, um, because a lot of partners struggled with the skill sets, yeah. and there was good news as well. Yeah, the designation, if you look at the designation where many partners struggled was on the training side, mm -hmm. and you need the advanced skill certification, and for Business Central there was actually nothing. Yeah. yeah. So that was a challenge and now Microsoft introduced that 
finally there will be a development exam and certification and that this will also help to do the advanced certification. So I think good news and will remove the last hurdle for partners to move into the designations. What I would always argue is it's good and great to see that you know Microsoft is really listening to partner yeah. feedback. And so you know the feedback that we get from our partners that we of course you know always then escalate or give to Microsoft. It's great to see that they really listen to that feedback and, yeah. and they do something about yes, it, right? Absolutely. Um, talking about doing something, um, yes. I think uh, the Microsoft, party. <laughs> the party is coming <laughs> later, yeah. but then uh, Microsoft is also trying to motivate a lot of partners to do something with Power Platform, right? Yeah. And I think a lot of our partners already do, but I saw some announcements today which I know you were quite excited because it basically takes the into the next step. Yeah, because I think it's to be precise, I mean Power Platform, that's a suite and if you go really a level deeper, I mean most of our partners already engage with Power BI. Uh, the next step then where Microsoft focus for Power Automate for workflows, mm -hmm. I see a lot of partners picking that up and then now they choose their next battlefield and mm -hmm. that's Power Pages to embed them more seamlessly and easy for partners to create B2B port. So that seems to be the next thing in tighter integrating the Power Platform to BC. And they there had some nice demos, demos that yeah. also, of course, with Copilot as yeah. well. Um, but I think, you know, that's really the next opportunity. Thank Great. You. Yeah, and I think for us, the opportunity is now to go to the directions party. Um, so we don't want to miss out on that, but then we are back fresh for day three and we will come back with a summary of day three again to you. Thanks for listening and uh, talk to you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye.